Well, I studied four years styling hair in Chicago, and that's where I got my first start. Uh, I began doing hair studios and things like that in Chicago, and the same lady who got me started there actually brought me over to New York, where I started my own studio. You know, I, I absolutely love hair. It's something that I've always wanted to do. When I was younger, I came from a family of athletes, and they were all out playing sports, and I, I had no interest in it. All I wanted to do was go to the pageants and be around the girls and the glamour and doing the hair and the makeup. I have an absolute passion for doing hair, and I always have. And, you know, maybe I got it from my mother. I'm not really sure where it came from but it's something I've always wanted to do and it's something I'm very interested in moving forward with. Uh, opening my own studio and on a much bigger scale. You know, doing things like shampoo, conditioner, having my own name, having my own line, it's my dream. Yeah, hair's always been the dream of mine. Okay. Okay. Well, now that we have all the logistics out of the way, I have a personal question. Are you straight? Very straightforward. Um, yes, I am. This is Jeremiah, an old friend of mine from school. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Brandy. Um, are you guys, you guys married? Married? <laughs> oh no. Not even like that. We're just, we're just friends, you know. <laughs> you uh, used to play ball with Clark? <laughs> oh, baby. Jeremiah, you were what? Chess team, debate club, something like that? Uh, among other things, yeah. <laughs> so how you been? You know, I... I can't complain. You still working at that little development place? Oh, Brecken's Development. Yeah, I'm still there. You still doing houses? No, I got out of that when the bottom fell out. Doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> sure. You know, I tried to get this guy to come work for me back in 06, when I was flipping a house a month. I could have used you, man. Hmm. Instead of that guy I had, he didn't know what he was doing. Mm. It cost me thousands. Mm. <laughs> but I understand, you had a nice, safe thing. Yeah, it, it's stable. Yeah. You ordered a companion? How is that? Well, actually, I, I, I got a coupon online. Is that that place that, where you design your own date? It, it's, it's more like a companion. It's not really a date. Yeah, yeah I heard so, about that. I should try that out. Get me a berry or a carrot. Turn it up. <laughs> Keep digging, Clark. Uh, you know, I'm just playing. Uh, you know, I, I think I see my date. It, it was nice meeting you, Brandy. <laughs> it was good seeing you. 
Maybe that's the woman's wife. Excuse me. Jeremiah? Uh, Jeremiah Parrish? Uh, Nina? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Uh, are you sure? Now, part of the questionnaire you filled out online was designed for me to know what you want. I know you like hugs, so hug me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Really? You couldn't pull my chair out? What, something wrong with you? You know what, you can pull my chair out just like he did hers, and she's not even a real woman. Really? Well, parts of you ain't real either. Well, parts of you ain't real either. Not that I'm complaining. Right. Your update, Mr. Stone. Jezebel's by you, eating two other identifiable persons in close proximity. Don't let them out of your sight, Mr. Stone. Not a chance. Thank you for choosing this version of me. It's, it's been a long time since I was here. Jezebel's Bayou? I thought that I'd picked a place you've never been before. Oh, no, I've never been here. Uh, Mariela, why? Good choice. I love her music, too. Well, what was that? You must have just posted something. But as I was saying, it's it's been a long time since I've been this Nina. How long? Um, about three years, eight months, and 14 days. Speaking of that, I am starving. I haven't had good food in a while. Could we order? Sure. <laughs> Someone nice, decent. Are you alone? <laughs> um, yes, I, I guess you could say that. And you didn't want the more flashier versions. They seem to be very popular amongst men, but but not you. It's it's not that she's not real. It's it's just that I want to be able to be myself. I don't want to have to keep pretending to be someone else. Do you understand? I do, Mr. Jeremiah. So let's start our. Okay. <laughs> um, that's great. I'll, I'll go get the food. Ooh. 